my lovelies welcome back to my channel and a new cook with me so today i am going to be showing you how i make my vegetable curry okay now i've got my spices here that and my pestle and mortar ready to go but what I'm going to do is dry roast my spices to get the nice smoky part going and it will smell incredible. I really recommend you buying whole spices like this. They last a lot longer and dry roasting them is going to be amazing. You get the smoky taste in the curry and for me there's nothing better. So... What we are going to do is get our pan ready for the dry roasting of the spices. So the best way to tell when they're done and they're ready to go and they've done their bit and they can come off is when the mustard seeds have started popping. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't have any mustard seeds because if you time how long it takes until these start popping, once you know how long that takes, you can do it without mustard seeds and it's ever, ever so simple. So there is something with the mustard seeds to which you need to know. Don't add too much, okay, because they're quite powerful and you really don't need a lot. So don't bother getting a spoon or anything at this point. Just putting it on the heat and letting it warm up. And every so often, just jiggle the pan like that, give it a bit of a, a jiggle and it will start to do its thing. Now, it will start to get quite smoky and everything else in the room so what you want to do is have a window and the back door open or both because it's going to get quite smoky and the smell will be quite strong so that's one thing that i would suggest that you can you do so i've got the pan on the hot when obviously the mustard seeds start popping that tells you taking off we're done okay so that is all you need to be doing if you could smell what i could smell you would love it and be really happy um i am very happy with this smell look at that beautiful so it's not quite ready but it will be and it's going to look really really good as you can see here the mustard seeds are doing their thing so we now take it off you see look at that quick and done. obviously if you dry roast them for too long they can burn and it's that smell is really really horrible but yes they're done i'm going to allow them to cool a little bit um so i can put them in the pestle and mortar until they come to a nice powder and then your spices are there ready to go and that smell is incredible the smokiness i am so obsessed you want to get your pestle and mortar um it doesn't matter if you have a smaller one um you know don't dry roast as much spices if you've dry roasted a fair bit more um then that's fine get your bigger pestle and mortar if you have one you can use a spice grinder but i like doing it by hand i not only do um, I get my arm muscle going. I get a good feel for it. So what you want to do is you want 
and to start pounding at it like this. But not too fast because they're going to go everywhere. So just ever so slowly, every kiff, very carefully, just pound it like this. Or you can grab it, pound it, so you put pressure and twist. P pressure and twist. Or you can do this. Okay? And you need to do this for quite a bit. Alright? And then, when it looks about ready, you then want to stop pounding it and then do this. And you keep going until the whole lot looks like powder. And it's as simple as that. It should start to look something like this. Now, there are tiny bits, but you don't have to be so precise. As long as it looks more or less like powder, um, you, you're done. Um, you're done, really. So, we are now going to move on and prepare the rest of the food. So, I'm going to start off with the pepper and I've decided I'm going to go with this nice orange pepper, okay? So, this is what I do and how best way I can prepare a pepper without wasting too much of it. So what I do, obviously, you do the usual, tucking the fingers in and the thumb, and you cut, so you top and tail is what you do, like so. And it's going to look a little like this. So what you do is you get your messy bowl like this, and you put your thumb in, and you pop it out. And all you do is just grab from the sides, the excess where where the seeds are and it's that simple look no mess no mucking about done and with this this bit here you just take it off like so it should be a lot easier than that but you know it it's not but with this don't chuck it away it's still edible, so please do still use it. So then all you do is you grab the parts of pepper and you just want a nice slice all the way across and then you just want to do this. Okay, and it is as simple as that. That's all I'm going to be doing with it. Again, doesn't have to be so precise. You can just chop it as well as you can. You, 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 we're not chefs. We are people that love to do what we do. And that, that's just it. So you just want to get it again. Okay, like that. And then you're just repeating. And that's it. It doesn't matter if they're not quite the same size. Yes, if they're the same size, they cook at the same time. But if you haven't quite done it, it, it's, it's no great shapes. So this um, is, I'm going to explain to you what this is. This is fresh turmeric, all right? You don't, if you can't get any, then it's not a problem. You can use powder, but I like to use this. This is the stuff, if you didn't know, that makes the rice go nice and yellow, okay? We don't need a lot. This one here will do okay so this is like ginger um it's best to um put it in the mini chopper okay which if you don't have one it's it's no great shame just cut it as fine as you can and you'll be all right but because i have a mini chopper i am going to be using one so ginger is the same, just get it like that. You don't need the whole lot, to be honest. You know, that here will be too much. And you don't, that is all you need, all right, honestly. And again, if you can't get fresh ginger, you can get ginger powder. But we like it fresh in this house. So all I've done is I've chopped it a little bit, just to make it easier when it's in the mini chopper. So this is what my mini chopper looks like. Well, it's 
it's small like that and it's a Kenwood and it is really really good all you do is push this in and away it goes and it's as simple as that and it is done that is what it looks like on the inside look at those colors that honestly that color is so exciting it makes me more excited and looking forward to having this curry <laughs> we like our curry with um a lot of garlic so when it comes to the garlic instead of feeling like you're going to uh struggle to get the skin off a quick way that uh, i know to do it is to put the knife on it like this and go like that and look your skin just comes off ever so easy and all you have to do is chop the end and it's ready to go and all you have to do then is do the same thing with your other bits of garlic we've got six cloves if you're wondering not only does doing that with the knife make it easier to get the skin off it helps releases a bit more of the garlic flavor and that is what we want so i've got my onion is peeled and ready to go now remember you take two layers off a third if it's looking a bit not great but it tends to just be two so i'm wanting to finely dice this onion so what i do is i've got the bridge hold bridge method here and i'm cutting it in half move one half out of the way then what i like to do so I like to grab my onion like this and go like this, not all the way, halfway. Then I like to do it again. Okay, halfway. Because doing that will have you finely cut, okay? There's dicing and then there's fine dicing. Okay, so you want to grab this, get the bridge hold again. And do this across like that. Not all the way, because remember, you want the onion to stay intact. Okay, so you do this. And if you're not sure and you want it to turn out quite well, you see the lines that are on an onion, follow the lines and you'll be all right. You see what I'm doing? You're starting right close to the end but not going all the way through then all the bits that fell off just you know put them at the end then what you want to do is you want to do this okay and that is nice and fine and ready to go and all you do is just do the same with this one and then you're ready to add it to the pan now here's something i'm really excited about a good butternut squash now i love these in a curry i absolutely do they it works so well and helps give it a nice earthy flavor and it really does go well in a curry I find but that's my preference that I like in a curry you don't have to use it you know I'm showing you how I make my own veg curry um, you can put any veg in you like it doesn't have to be what I've used and I chose red onion because it made a change from brown onion and that was just my preference for today I had brown so I did have the choice um, if I um wanted that so with the butternut squash what you want to do is cut it down the middle in half and then once you've done that you want to get the seeds and scrape them out with the spoon then all you want to do is cut the, the halves into half like so and then all you do is you just dice them 
like that. And when doing this, you need to make sure your knife is sharp because it is quite um, a tough vegetable. All right. And don't worry about the inside bit there. You can still have that. All right. Then once you've done that, it's easier and quicker for when it comes to peeling it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cook it because once you've cooked it, it will be easier to peel off. And that's just what I do. And it's how I do it. And it's worked like that for me for all the time that I've dealt with this. And that's how I know it really does work. So now all I've done is just kept this into a bowl ready to go. I'm not adding this into the pan until a little bit later. Moving on, we have a cauliflower and I love cauliflower so much, especially in a curry. So often I've seen people get these bits and um, chuck them. Please don't do that because they're still edible and you really don't want to waste your food. What I'm going to do is take these bits off, put them on the plate, ready to chop in a bit. we have our link all ready to go so you want to just peel off the outer part of the link then what you want to do is just wash off wash off any dirt and all things like that so that it's ready to go i see a lot of people get this and top and tail it don't do that because there's no need in your CY. So just chop it as you would normally. And you keep going all the way to the end until it starts to feel rough. When it starts to feel rough, you know you've got the correct amount. Because if you top and tain it, you might end up taking too much off this end and wasting the, the good bit that you can have so that's why i do it the way that i do it and it works like that every time sprouts now i love sprouts i think they're absolutely delicious and i really saw these and straight away i thought vegetable curry and here i am sprouts are delicious in a curry and just to let you know sprouts are also good shallow um with a little bit of oil fried and a bit of creme fraiche it's a beautiful snack trust me it's gorgeous so as you know you just take the outer leaf off cut the end boom good to go unless you want to cut it in half but it's a bit tedious and i'm not going to bother with that so i'm just going to leave it whole for a vegetable curry we're going to need a protein source now our protein is mushrooms and these are baby button mushrooms and they're really really delicious a lot don't really like mushrooms there's a lot of people saying oh i don't like them but honestly they are absolutely delicious and there they are i'm just going to not bother taking this out or peeling it it's a bit tedious and i filled it you don't really need to be doing that so i just and that's it that's all i do 
and then pop them in the pan and they're ready to go. All you do is do that again. Okay, grab it, chop it, done. Or if it's easier, you can do the bridge method, which you have seen. So you're just grabbing it like this and going like that. If that is easier than what I've just done, do what you are comfortable with, okay? So your pan is on and ready to go. You just want to um, fry this for about five to ten minutes, all right? And then all you're doing, more or less, is um, I would normally get the bits and I sweat it off. Um, so I'll explain again. Sweating off is not, you're not running the marathon. Um, you're not doing a sprint. You're just having a bit of a jog. And how you know when, it's, when the sweating off is done is when the onion changes colour. That's how you know it's done and it's done. But I want to fry this for about five to ten minutes to allow the sprouts to do their thing. Because they take a little bit longer. Okay. So we're just going to do this for a bit longer. And then, once we've done that, we're going to add our spices and get them going in there. And it's going to smell incredible. It smelled good before, but it's going to smell even better in a minute. I mean, the colours going on in here. It's really colourful and it's exactly what I wanted. When it's been a good few minutes, you just want to come back over on the high heat and just every so often give it a little stir and then you want to come over with your spices that are in the pestle and mortar and add them and fry them for a further two minutes and that smell and the flavour is going to be incredible. A lot of people I know and have told me so many times that you can either have a tomato based curry or a coconut based curry but I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Today I'm going to go with a bit of both because I love doing that with my um, curry and it just it just works and I, I love doing it so much honestly I do so once I've stirred the spices in there for a further two minutes we're gonna take it off the heat then we're going to make our curry sauce from scratch and then we're going to add the sauce to it leave it on simmer for a really long time it is nearly one in the afternoon and i'm going to let it slow cook for most of the day and it's going to taste really really good later and i'm so excited best part about this pan is that it is non-stick so i've added the spices and oh look at that it's now starting to really come together and look more like a curry which is what we want and it the smell is absolutely incredible if you could smell this i love it so we're going to do this for a further two minutes then i'm going to show you how i make my curry sauce it's so simple you won't even need to buy a jar ever again what i have here is some lovely selection of dried chilies that's going to go in with the sauce i've chosen to have three dried bird sides in there and we like it hot and i have decided to keep the seeds the coconut i've chosen to use is creamed coconut because it lasts a bit longer and it's really really good i really like it and we got two tomatoes cut into four 
And, <laughs> and that is our sauce. And it is simple as that. It's delicious. All I've done is add a bit of lime juice. And if you want a nice fruity flavour, you can add a little bit of mango chutney, which is what I am actually about to do. That is everything in there. Then all you do is blend and the sauce is done. So that is done. Then all you do is add your turmeric and your ginger to that. And you're then ready to add it to your ingredients and leave it to, to simmer for a while. And that's your curry, really. What you do now is you mix the sauce in there, get it all mixed in, and you want to get it to a good consistency, not too thick or too runny. But if you feel it's starting to stick, just add some water, okay? And then allow it to simmer. I've got it on a high heat to heat the bits back up. And allowing the sauce to mix in and then you add a bit of water so it's not too thick and then you leave it to simmer for a, for a, with me for a good few hours but you don't have to allow it to simmer for a few hours if you're doing it um towards dinner time and you're getting it ready for dinner i'm just having mine so that it slowly cooks over a few hours so that it can be really nice later so excited if you want to add a bit of water which is what i'm about to do use this to help get more of this and it helps you know use the rest of this up so you're not wasting any but rinsing this out makes it easier to wash up as well look at that yum so now all we do now we've added our water we're going to turn it right down and leave it to simmer for a while sorry so, the curry has been on simmer for a long time now, for coming up to about half an hour, which is great. But what I'm going to do now is add a little bit more salt. I've tried it, and it needs a bit more salt, okay? That's why it's best not to add too much salt at the beginning, because you can add, but you can't take away. But that is looking really well it's coming together nicely and i'm going to leave it a while longer on simmer and then i'm going to reheat it um warm it through later when it comes to um nearer the evening time and i will put the rice on and get that ready um, near in the time when the rice is nearly done that's when I'm going to put this back on and warm it through and then it can be served and a good time got my rice ready going to add my water so it's ready to go I've got some bay leaves and some star anise in there and I have salt and that is all I need for my rice it's all my fancy but yeah really really simple so as you can see the curry is still on simmer it's been on simmer for just over an hour and i'm just coming over giving it a little bit of attention because we like to do that now i want to mention that i love to use this butter ghee but we've just run out um and i couldn't it's not it's the cheap version but it works just as well so we're giving it a bit more of a stir we're keeping it on the low heat and it's looking absolutely delicious look at the colors in there beautiful I just want to mention quickly that if it's quite runny and you want to have a good thickener, um, lentils, yes, they need to soak for a while. But if you're leaving a curry on simmer for more than an hour, they're going to be just fine. 
And I'm not going to add lentils this time round. I'm just going to leave it as it is. But look at that. Beautiful. Now, if I did decide to use lentils, I have these green lentils from Asda. I mostly use red lentils, but these are the lentils that were left. These were the substitute. Now, you can get lots and lots of different lentils. There are so much choice. It's amazing. But if I was to add some, I do have red lentils somewhere, but I don't know where they are. But I'm sure you've seen red lentils before. They look more orangey than red. But they are red. But these you ought to soak overnight if if possible. But if this is on simmer for many hours, then it will be okay. But I'm not going to be adding any this time round. Um I'm deciding not to. It's it's your choice at this point whether you want to add lentils or or you want to do with me this time round and leave them out. Did find them. These are really good ones. And honestly, they are absolutely amazing for a good thickener for a curry. You can use corn flour. Um, just add a little bit of water and mix it, pour it in, done. But lentils are another really good thing, which I prefer to use. Um, but that's down to me and my my preference, really. But these are really, really good. I prefer these to the green lentils, but the green lentils still do the job that's intended. But I just prefer these. But again, that is my preference. So, I thought... As you guys might want it, and I want it too, I'm going to do a little taste test of the sauce to see if there's enough heat in there. Now, I tried it earlier to check the salt, but that was before I checked if there's enough chilli heat. And that's just what I want to do now. That's really good. You can really taste the mango chutney in there and the heat, the chilli, it gets you later. And we love that. We love that. That is really good. Doesn't need any more salt. Then you can really taste the chilli later. The mango chutney, you can taste that in there. The coconut, you can the coconut's coming out. It's 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 how I wanted it. And I'm really, really pleased. That is lovely. Oh, yes, that's great. But if you want to add more chilli, that is fine. Also, don't feel you have to add um, as much chilli as me. If you don't like it that hot, it can be as hot or as mild as you like it. Again, with the chilli, your preference, my preference to wants to add four dried bird size and keep the seeds in you can add the same number of chilies as me and not have it so hot by removing the seeds if you decide to but that's good but remember germs if you want to try it again get a different spoon because it's not just you eating it every other people are eating it as well and also allow it to um do its thing to slow cook a little bit longer really let the flavors get in there and do what they do best it's gonna be a lovely curry and i'm really excited and if i had a pound for every time i said i was excited do you know what i'm saying it'd be enough to buy loads of ingredients for a lot more curries look at it it's looking incredible. The colours, the bright orangey colours. That is a curry. It doesn't need any more chilli. It's just right, just how I want it. So I'm going to put the lid on, leave it to simmer for a while longer, and then come um, six o'clock, 
I'm going to put the rice on and then start serving it. It's going to look and taste really good. And I'm really, really looking forward to having this. So good. So the rice is done. Um, the star anise and bay leaf is not edible. It's just in there for flavour. So I'm just fetching them out. And then I can serve the rice and serve the curry and show you what it looks like at the end. And I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And it's just turned six o'clock, which means it's not too late. And I love that that's been slow cooking for quite a bit longer as well. I think that's really good. And there you have it, my vegetable curry. Now. I really look forward to having that and it is as simple as that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.